Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about Lambda. Uh, Lambda is a keyword in Python. It's also a Greek word. Um, anyhow, what Lambda allows us to do is write basic functions with uh, basic expressions, but we can pass arguments to it. Uh, we can actually write these uh, basic functions in list or in func function arguments, stuff like that. Uh, and it's designed to handle a single expression, nothing too complicated. That's reserved for functions. So let's go ahead and create a basic function first, and then we'll mirror it with lambda. So let's go ahead and, uh, I got to be on my thing, define addition like that. Now we're going to pass two arguments, uh, three arguments, A, B, and C. And uh, I haven't showed you this before, but we can actually write a function on a single line. And we can just do return A plus B plus C, like that. Now, I don't like doing this because I, I, it just, in my mind, it doesn't look right. But we can do this. And the reason why I'm doing this is because a lambda is normally written on one line. So I'm going to show you. How, what it looks like mirrored. All right. So now we'll do. Uh, let's do. Um, uh, draw blank. G is equal to L A M D A. All right. And then we'll do A comma B comma C colon. And we're going to do A plus B plus C. All right. No, let's call them both and take a look at them. So we'll do addition and see that we get the same number for each one. One, three, and five. We get nine for the function, the defined function up here. And then if we do g one comma three comma five, we'll get nine as well. All right, with lambda right here. All right. Notice we don't need to use a return in um, lambda all right so that being said uh, you can see lambda is easily written we don't have to define the function throw it in parentheses and use a return statement all right um, you can also call lambda in a function so I'm going to show you that since it's a pretty short video uh, we'll definitely cover this some more in the next couple tutorials. But let's define name, and then we're going to say full name is equal to LAMD, LAMDA, uh, A, B, colon, and then we're going to say A plus white space plus B. Oops, return full name. All right, then we're going to come down and we're going to call the function first, but we're going to have a variable represented. So we'll do person is equal to name. All right, because if we just call the function, which I'll show you real quick, like this, we're going to get that. All right. Um, now, if we do person and then we have to create one more variable full and we'll do person uh, your name or my name Tom Myers like that Hit return and full boom Tom Myers all right so basically what we did was we called the function right here and then we called person inside a function which is the lambda and passed our two arguments to it and then we call full and I printed it out. So you can see we can use lambda inside a function and um, but we could also just use lambda. So let's just do full name like this is equal to lambda a comma b colon a plus empty or white space and then b and then if we do full name and do your name or my name like this there you go all right so we didn't even need that function but i was just showing you it does work in the function 
All right. In the next tutorial, we'll uh, dig a little bit deeper into Lambda. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day.